Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Cyberpunk 2077 Let's Play. So we are with Takamara here and we're gonna do some recon around the industrial park owned by Arasaka. We must just climb up here. We need to figure out how to hack the floats. Don't mind him, he doesn't have any more now implants anymore. Way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Eight Night City, that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mmm, Arasaka sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, fried on his face. It was a protein bar. Subaru Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Wow. footbridge, but it's guarded. Jump over the fence? Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. So, we must be aware of the mech. See the gate? Armored door, sealed tight. Wanna say something? Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. This is not bad. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. It's like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion.
trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? We could try. Sounds like the best plan of all the ones we scanned so far. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering a Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. Back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge. That is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? 
Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you are both the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way. Yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world and its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists. As if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability? Save Chief 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka, saw how corpse operate. It wasn't roses and rainbows. And you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. Pizza and sushi. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. It's not for you to judge. We waited till it rained on us on the roof. Now, we bust in there right now? I'll be in touch. The diversion reaction, that is mine to do. Okay. I'm down with stealing a truck. Oh, dude, chill. I thought he would stop. Hey, 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 you. these trucks oh 
they went inside already. See, I thought we can start traffic jams with our vehicle, but this guy seems to just keep going. Wow. Okay. Let me summon the car and try to block this route. Hello, sir. All right, we got it. I'm in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away. Mm, rather clever. That's why I'm here. Very well. I have reached the roof. I'll be in their communication system soon. Will that let us through the barricade here? clear to enter sir no okay then we're gonna take a different approach here then we're gonna first get out of cameras view maybe park it under here This is insane. Is there anything I can distract him with? His screen. What the fuck's going on? Wait, I can't... I can't kill him. Stopping mission! They're not aggressive towards me. Wait, can I just walk in? He doesn't care. I can't even use this computer if I really wanted to. But there's no benefit to that. Now the cameras are probably still gonna care. Just the guards don't seem to care. We want to shut everything down. 1C, 55, 1C, BD. Alright, they're all down. Yeah, the guards really don't care. There is a mech. He doesn't he doesn't care because we drove the van in slightly confused
So we can just hop on over. He's hostile. I don't have to kill him, but might as well. You are an easy target when you step out. Ah, evil I see you now. There's a dump over there. Okay, that's just a distraction thing. So he's also okay with us right. here. Got an access point to the security systems. Yes. Excellent. I am also making progress. At a warehouse outside town. You'll have to make do. And the children will have to make do with the food we can afford. This is just weird that he's just letting us do this. One C, one C, one C. Oh, five one C is what we want. One C, one C, one C. No, one C. We need to connect the one Cs. One C, one C, one C, one C. There we go. We need three. Okay, we go upstairs. He also doesn't seem to be a target. Is it because we stole a truck that everything inside they just feel like we're an employee that's sneaking around? <laughs> perk shard. Progression shard. I think we get a level. We get a perk point. Oh, these things exist? Yeah, the tough guy doesn't even care. I'm pretty convinced this is because I stole the car. Alright, I'm going down. Is there a lower level? Uh, our reward for high tech is just one crate. Maybe there's other good stuff down here. suit in here. Reeks too. 
You will have fresh air once you reach the warehouse area. See, he doesn't care. He sees me, he doesn't care. I can call. What do I want to call? The phone a friend section? I think it's for him to call aid if they need help. But obviously we... Uh, we took the shortcut where there's no guard. But in this case, the guard is not aggressive against us, so it almost doesn't matter. This is the outside entrance if we had gone the other way. We even close this radio. Okay, this is too easy. Call this infiltration. He doesn't care either. I'm supposed to get in this door. Okay, I'm in. Find the largest float. They are controlled from inside. The tech. It could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Also, wait, this is a different room. I thought it was the same room. The daughter's biography. Someone wanting the soul tech. We read this one. Those are the floats. No one... Yeah, no one sees us as an enemy. proper ways to go down this way. We'll pretend to be an employee even though we're just not dressed like one. Ooh, jack in. That's what I want to see. Get some parts, make some money. BD5555, BD5555. Five, 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 five.
Ah, artichoke pizza. Oh. No. Huh. What if we jump? They still don't care. I can just wander around, look for loot. A Militech crate. In the Arasaka world. Oof, I thought he was getting interested in us. No, can't go in. There's loot inside. Should we focus on the mission or should we try to get all our loot? Thing is, who said we can't do both? Maybe I've been here, or else why would there be no loot? Alright, we're going to the float. A net runner at the door. Yeah, even he probably doesn't care if we hack it. Hey, big guy, I'm just gonna come in here and put a virus. Yeah, in that computer right here. Okay, floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Ha <laughs> ha, I just may do that. Good work. Now, it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me! The roof! That is your will! There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Hostile area? He just... Did he just turn the area hostile for me? Ooh. Salute on the other side. But even if it's hostile, I don't think they're turning on me. I could be wrong. He wants me to do the climb here.
Guess we're out. Fucking worked. Exit walk B. Okay. What now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Alrighty. That was probably the easiest infiltration job we ever done. Just because we hacked a truck or got a truck. Uh, but we're going to end our episode here. And uh, we'll pick things back up. We'll do some side quests since we advanced way too far. We might approach the Ghost Town mission, but I'm not so sure about leaving to the Badlands right now. I don't know when Takamaru is going to call us. So we'll decide next time. Until then, bye!